What's up, guys? Midwest Two Review here back again. As you guys can clearly see, we got the uh, M12 half inch drive stubby impact dr uh, wrench um, or driver. And uh, we also picked up some Matco tools that we're going to kind of go over a little bit. And so, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I think I'm going to call this series like uh, New Tool Friday. Everybody else has got like tool haul Wednesdays and snap on Fridays. We're going to call this new tool Friday and we're going to be trying to pick up something new, whether it be one tool or two tools, or in this case, four tools every Friday, uh, and have something exciting for you guys and something to look forward to on the, uh, Midwest tool review here, tool review channel. So before we get into the big one over there, the very first, uh, tool we picked up here is this Matco. Let's see here. Let's turn it the proper direction. This Matco uh, stubby uh, um, ratchet. There's your part number. Uh, it is a half inch or a quarter inch drive anvil on there. Um, I'm not sure the number of teeth. Let's see here. That's probably 60, maybe 72 tooth. Uh, I'll have to double check. Um, but I mean, the, the guy is so small. I mean, look at that. I have big hands, but um, it's, it's fairly small. I think it's probably, let's see here, use a snap on uh, tape measure, oh, tape measure, and that's going to come in at four inches. Um, so that's not, that's not a bad size, but I was thinking about, oh, uh, I'm out of frame there. The reason why I got this particular one is because it was cool. I didn't, I didn't have it. Um, I'm a sucker for ratchets, as you guys know, and uh, I already had the um, snap-on. This is an older snap-on. This is the FK720, uh, but it's more of a coarse tooth design. It has been restored, uh, but I picked up this Matco one, which is relatively the same exact size with the exception of the head. Um, but um, let's see here. Maybe, yeah, this is a little bit thinner on the overall head, but I thought it was pretty cool. It's really nice design, um, nice low pro profile uh, selector switch there. Oh, really nice. And I think this is uh, this is more of their offshore um, uh, tool here. So meaning that it wasn't made in the USA. So we picked that guy up today, adding that to our collection of tools. Um, we also picked up this Matco uh, this is a uh, hex driver or hex ratchet. There's your part number there. Um, and it's got the uh, selector switch on this end, but you can throw your little bits in there on this particular side. And then it also has the um, thumb actuation feature there. So you can, you know, if you get to a small or confined space, you can just kind of turn it by hand if you can't utilize the entire length. Um, and here it has the uh, quarter inch drive anvil here. This already uh, pre-installed and once again with the selector switch and the uh, thumb wheel feature. Um, this guy, I should have kept that tape measure out. This guy is coming in at approximately, let's see here, coming in at approximately 12 inches uh, in length. So uh, that's pretty cool. Glad I got this. I've been eyeing this one for a while. Uh, and finally decided to go ahead and purchase this off the tool truck today. So that's new to the collection. We also have the uh, Matco uh, Extra Long. This is an American-made ratchet here. There's your part number, AFR98LFR. Uh, it is a locking flex head, um, which we've all come to uh, know and love. Um, it's got the 88 tooth design. Really, really nice ratchet. Um, I'm really excited to get this. Now, this was an impulse buy. That there was a warranty for another tool, and I just applied the warranty credit to get that. The uh, stubby ratchet was also an impulse buy, but I really fell in love with this guy here. Not only the handle, the comfort grip handle, I love that, and I'm a sucker for quarter-inch drive ratchets. Now, you guys already know, if you know my channel, you know I already have, if I can get this back in there, already have several uh, quarter inch drive ratchets. So it's not like I needed another one. Um, here's the uh, snap on, um, what is this, the, uh, let's see, 
This is the TL72, um, and then comparing that to the uh, Snap-on or the Matco, they're about the same length um, as far as the uh, head thickness. Once again, Matco for the win, coming in at a lot thinner than the uh, the Snap-on. Uh, I think that's one of the besides the locking mechanism, um, which is another plus for the Matco. Um, but this thin head design, which is, uh, is, is really, really, really nice feature. Uh, and they seem to be, um, doing very well with that, that particular design. So I like that. Don't get me wrong. I searched forever to get one of these at a great deal. I ended up picking this one up for $20. Don't even ask me how much I paid for this one. But nonetheless, we now have that. That's part of our collection. We'll try to get these somewhere thrown in the toolbox. I guess you guys may want to see that. Let me see if I can bring that into frame without dropping my phone. Look at that awesome snap, our awesome ratchet collection. Really happy with that. Go ahead and throw that down in there as well. Uh, and then lastly, now I'm gonna have to put you guys back at a better angle here. Uh, oh, we also got, uh, we also got the uh, Matco tool tray or tool dish, magnetic tool dish. Uh, got that for free. My guy, Terry Gilbert. Thank you, Terry, if you're watching this video. He's my Matco dealer. Um, he and I have been friends for a long, long time, and he hooked this up for free today. So pretty cool to have that. Pretty excited to have that as well. Now I'm going to try to jump in and out of the frame, so hey, we're just going to work with it, right? So um, whew, about tripped and fell. That would have been hilarious. So the M12, there is your information on it, 250 foot pounds of torque for uh, mode drive control um, the most compact impact gun on the market half in his drive stubby impact wrench kit there's your part number fits all m12 batteries the red lithium technology came with a two amp and a four amp battery uh, so we got the gun the charger one two amp one four amp and then the contractor's carrying case uh, this one here um, it does have um, the five, three, and two. So five-year warranty on the tool, three-year warranty on the uh, big battery, and a two-amp warranty on the smaller one, um, or the, the two-amp. Uh, there's a little bit more. We're not going to go into everything about it, but it's got the Red Link Plus intelligent technology. Uh, fits all the uh, M12 batteries, as we said. And there's a little bit more information regarding the... Um, the performance of this particular tool. Um, why did I get this? Well, I'm gonna talk about that while I'm unpackaging it. The reason why I picked that up was because um, I have a small air compressor. Um, and because I have a small air compressor, um, when it comes to running my larger uh, half inch drive tools, obviously um, I don't have enough CFM to be effective. So it was necessary for me, and I'm gonna pick the phone up now. It was necessary for me to um, invest in a half inch drive impact. After all, you guys know, I've got enough of the Snap-on half inch drive sockets, um, as well as Harbor Freight and everyone else. So um, I wanted something that didn't require um, air to uh, utilize the gun. So we picked this up. The stubby design is awesome. Um, it fits in the palm of your hand. I've watched GRC 54, I've watched Cotton Top 3, I've watched everybody, all the other YouTubers out there to kind of get a good idea of what I wanted uh, and what would work best. And that's one of the benefits to, um, you know, having a, uh, uh, a YouTube community for tools because what some of us DIYers don't know, a lot of you guys who are experienced uh, technicians and mechanics can let us know what you guys recommend, why, and then we as DIYers can go out and buy it and know that we have a good quality tool that's uh, been put, put through its paces and tested um, rigorously out in the field. And that's why I bought this one. Uh, it wasn't just like an impulse buy in the sense that I didn't know what I wanted and why. And I just went out and bought something. So um, we picked that guy up. 
and uh, was really, really happy about that. I'm going to go ahead and take off this, if I can get that off. That's probably not the right size. We'll worry about that later, I guess. I'm trying to do this all with one hand, and it's not very effective. But uh, yeah, I got this here. It came with, like, like I said, the 2 amp and the 4 amp battery. Um, so really happy about that. There's the 4 amp battery there. There's the 2 amp battery here. It's got the charger. Uh, and then the gun itself and all of the plaque or cards for warranty and all that good stuff. So really happy about this. And I love the fact that it is a stubby design. Um, all of my others, other impact guns, if I can locate them. Um, yeah, I think this is one of them here. Um, this is my cobalt brushless 24 volt. Love this gun here. Um, and even when you compare that to the half inch drive Milwaukee, uh, yeah, look at that. It's much smaller. Um, but nonetheless, the, the Cobalt has been a, a great three inch drive gun. And um, I, I, I swear by it. This is a really good gun for the price. But the half inch drive, I needed that. Um, I really did. Having an F 150. Um, having um, multiple vehicles and needing to do suspension work and etc. Uh, taking off lugs, I wanted something that could really handle it. And uh, you know, from all the reviews that I've seen, uh, this particular gun can do it. Um, I'm probably never going to put it through the paces of some of the mechanics out there in the world. But you know, as I use it, as I become more familiar with it, I will let you guys know from time to time how it performs in the hands of a DIYer. So. Maybe that'll carry some weight. Maybe it won't, but you'll still get the information. So I'm really happy about that. In general, I'm very happy about all the tools I picked up today. Um, this Friday tool haul has been excellent. Um, everything that I bought, um, brand new uh, today. You know, normally I buy stuff that's used or slightly used, um, but today I decided to go ahead and treat myself a little bit, and I went out and bought some things that I knew I wanted and needed at the same. Um, so I hope you guys like it kind of end this video now. I don't want to be too long, but I hope you guys like what we picked up. If you have any questions or uh, want to know anything about anything I grabbed today, part numbers, etc., just l let me know. Leave me a comment. Um, uh, also, you can check me out on Midwest underscore tool underscore review. That's on Instagram. Look me up. Leave me comments there um, and I will try to get back to everybody uh, within a timely manner. You guys have a great night uh, and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.